All right, so your kids may be gearing up to go back to school, but a lot of retailers are bracing themselves for what could be a really rough year ahead. Millennials are falling out of favor with their former favorites in everything from food to fashion, banishing big shot brands to the back of the class. Marketing guru Bruce Turkle and Todd Schoenenberg, president of J. Sturch Asset Management, are here with us. So which names aren't passing the cool tests, Bruce? I mean, look, I have three uh, in my house, I can tell you, but what's the rest <laughs> of the world think? Well, what we're seeing is you have the three A's, Abercrombie, Aeropostale, and American Eagle, plus McDonald's and Facebook, believe it or not. And it's really interesting you say that because my kids were never on Facebook. They do not think it's cool. So, Todd, those stocks are up. We're looking at them right now. McDonald's, Abercrombie, Aeropostale, American Eagle, Facebook. Do you buy any of them? No. And here's why. Look, the three, well, McDonald's I would out of all of them, and that's probably the, uh, the least ugly of them all. The, the retailers themselves, though, it's very difficult in this environment right now. I mean, you can look at Abercrombie's numbers. They report this Thursday. This is a company just last quarter that they missed by $500 million on the retail number on that revenue share. So when I look at those types of companies and you look at the margins themselves, I mean, Michael Kors is a great example. Michael Kors had, uh, has 72% profit margins, and the stock still went down after its, after its earnings release. Look for the same for those retailers. Bruce, the thing is, the kids don't have the nostalgia like with McDonald's like we do, right? I remember when the first one went up in my town. We couldn't wait to go. Had to have a vanilla <laughs> milkshake once a week, right? I remember all that. They don't care. My kids want to go to Moe's. <laughs> they don't care at all, but there is something they can do. I mean, back when our, my kids were little, of course, McDonald's had Happy Meals. You get a little mm -hmm. dumb toy with your yes. food. So today, why, isn't, why doesn't McDonald's create Appy Meals? And you bring your smartphone in and you get a free app with your food. Kids would love Listen, that. Listen, or drive through lanes. Why have drive throughs Why don't we have text through lanes? <laughs> your kids don't want to talk to anybody, but they no. love to text their order. McDonald's has to move with the times and change not the product, but the brand but, experience for what kids are looking Todd, for. But Todd, I kind of think it's the product too. I mean, my kids now are growing up with Five Guys, you know, right, Shake Shack burgers. Right. I mean, these are like quality burgers. And then you go to McDonald's and you get this patty thrown at you. Supersize them again, Tracy. That's what I have to say. Look, when you supersize fries, selling cigarettes to kids, these business models never fail. And here's the thing. Once they got rid of those supersize and they went all PC, that killed them, obviously, for this generation. It's probably going to kill them for the next generation as well. I love me a McRib, I have to tell you. Oh, yes, no, I nobody do. Nobody eats that. Bruce, Bruce, I do. Bruce, we have to go, but what retailer is rocking it right now? Oh, well, the one who's making the money, it's not a retailer. It's this ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. Oh, well, yeah, there you brilliant, go. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. They're using social media, they're using altruism, and let's face it, they're using some sadism and revenge, <laughs> and boy, are they raising money. $72 million to I know, do. it's awesome, and I tell you, my kids are not shopping at any of those stores, thankfully. Thank you both.